Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 with the historical project mod as the United States of America. We have quite a few commerce raiders now. Um, I'd probably like to have to like 10 transports too. Do we have the funding for it though? <laughs> that's the great question. That's the big question. Uh, you've decided to discredit us. Uh, that's fine. So we're finally meeting head to head here. Britain. Finally. We're taking control of most of it as America. I'm not sure why the hell you prioritize Brazil, but you do. Yeah, we might have to like cut funding on this slightly. Cut to 80% funding on the fleet. I don't think the funding reflects the points up here, right? No. We just have to own the ships. So let's do that. I fully realize that the second we get another pro party in power, we're gonna have so uh, much... so many problems. Anyway. Um... Where's the choose a trade policy decision? There it is. Let's choose a trade policy. Ah, and yeah, yeah, that's fine. We have market regulations, which are the new things. Let's see. Maximum tariff and trade efficiency. Or we do this. Industry tech research, which is rather nice. Less tariff efficiency, right? Uh, no, more actually. And minimum tariffs goes all the way up to 75. That's what they're suffering for now. We're gonna go with that anyway. That's still the same policy, right? Yeah, I think so. And... Listen, there's a movement right to... For the Jefferson method. Can I jump all the way down to this? That's gonna change the uh, part in the whole thing. I believe. Liberties are um yeah, that's fine. Will that value change? I don't think so. Proportional representation. We're currently considered a republic, that's gonna change. Went all the way down there. Um, are they going to disappear now or not? Yes. They disappeared, but uh, Jacobin rebels suddenly appeared. I assume we're going to change out of a republic. At the end of the month. No? Oh, okay, fair enough. Let's, let's not be sad about that, I suppose. Still gain rebels. Uh, nothing's ever nothing's ever radical enough, huh? Okay, and Spain. Uh, increase influence. Not friendly. Very good. Truce with Algeria and Morocco. You're right because you fought for the northern bits there, right? Let them go. Really? We let Natal go? That was nice of you, Britain. It was nice of them. Okay, after this is gonna be the naval bases tech. 
No, 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 we need the iron range. Oh, I need to get that first. Then the naval bases. Empire Brazil. Gonna be friendly with them. Gotta be friendly. And now, once we have finished this, we're gonna have a look at uh, the um, tech again to see if we actually can research it now. Or if we have a chance. Uh, band, yeah, that's fine. Um, whom? Watara. I have no idea who Watara is, but they must be at war. Conquest of Polish war. Whoa! Oh, I'll see that in a second. Um, okay, so the ones here are fighting, that's fine. Poland. Poland exists. Congress Poland is on the map, and they're being crushed by Russia. Big surprise there. Didn't you eat Krakow? You did, not, you did eat Krakow. Still no Austria-Hungary, though. Which is strange. I thought that would have formed by now. And of course, Prussia still hasn't unified in any way. They have gotten Bavaria into their sphere, though. And they have gotten Saxony into their sphere. Um, Prussia? They have what they need to form the North German Federation. Or Confederation. Um, did the lines break? Our lines with Spain broke, or France broke, sure. Not sure why it broke. Did you go to war and didn't call us or something? Well, that's the old war. Again, again, this is the problem with the uh, <laughs> diplomacy game in this game. Diplomacy system. The alliances are just a little too flexible in that regard. Um, it's not in our sphere. We had an alliance with Brazil but at some point. But now, of course, they're right. They broke that because they're in the sphere of... Um, whom? This guy? Huh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they broke the alliance with us because they entered up into Britain's sphere. Okay, so, supply range and naval techs and all that fun stuff. Now we'll have to go and look at the tech there. Mission to civilize, and uh, no. Okay. Got it. So it's impossible to get before 18, 1860. It's completely impossible to get. That's what it, this is telling me. There's no... I thought there was a base value of 5%, but there's not. So the only chance for us to discover this is if someone else has gotten the, the mission to civilize. Which, of course, is not the case. And the real bad thing is that as soon as 1860 rolls around, we're going to discover it. And then it says a great power, neighboring country. So we're immediately going to give um, <laughs> our neighbor, Britain, another 20% chance of it. Lovely. Of course, the reverse is also true, so if they get it first, so be it. Um, okay. I really want this. So we can get the iron range and all that fun stuff. I also want this so we can build more naval bases. But the civil war events have to fire soon. Okay, uh, let's go with this one first. Let's see if we can get the iron range thing. Still making decent money. We can still build the more fleet. Let's 
Let's see, where the hell is that number that's up here, isn't it? We support 300 and something. And we have 200 and something. <laughs> I can't read the darn numbers. Uh, fine. Um, I want 10, 10 steel transports. So 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then I want a few commerce raiders. At least a few. And a few more. Something like that. And then we'll have to see again how much capacity we have after all that. Gonna be a mess this. Gonna be a mess. Migration. We're still getting people, right? Oh yeah. There aren't as many available though, out there in the world. So now the Russians are starting to get pissed. Come to us, don't go to Guatemala. My god, is Guatemala a drain. They love Guatemala. I don't know why. What, what have you done, Guatemala? Have you enacted all kinds of social reforms or something? I mean, they're dragging in folks on left and right. They must be doing something right. Uh, oh, right, British Guatemala. That's why you're not fully intact, huh? Well, God, I hand them to them. Whatever they did, it works. Card is playing, can we add it to our sphere? Uh, that's gonna be kind of funny too, but we're gonna do it. Uh, kaboom. We're in our sphere of influence now, Spain. You're ours. I'm wondering if that's gonna change some of the decisions. Uh, that one. Guantanamo Bay leases. Yeah, the only thing that's missing now is steel steamers and being jingoist or pro-military. And the Republican Party is pro-military. So as soon as we have steel steamers, we'll be able to do this. Gonna gain infamy, but we'll gain the Guantanamo Bay. Hey, wait a second. Oh! This province. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, it ain't much, but still. It's a naval base. It is a naval base. So you have the possibility, at least. Oh. Reactionary party rocked by scandal. Reactionary party? Uh, okay, outrageous. And Uruguay defaults, we don't really care. Are there any factories that we want to desperately reopen? Oh, there are tons of unemployed somewhere. Uh, not really. There is this one in Indiana, but ah, that's fine. Still building up all the ships. Okay, Britain is doing quite a few things in terms of laws. Let's have a look. Uh, conquer the Yemen. Okay. So now you're pushing into the Yemen. God. I've never played Britain in this game. But they clearly get tons of free CBs everywhere. And they got now the um, nationalism and imperialism thing, I think. I'm fairly certain, yeah, that they got this one and triggered a whole bunch of things. Seriously. No one's requesting it. And I don't see any point in doing this. Though it's also gonna give immigration attraction. It's gonna give even more... Uh, 
I kind of need a mobilization though. Ranking, yeah, we are doing quite okay on that, I suppose. I think we're fourth? Yes, fourth. So we passed Austria. France has actually fallen on quite a bit. Quite a bit. They're better on the industrial side. Oh god. How the bugger all do you get an industrial score like that, Britain? Holy smokes. That's a lot of factories. That's a lot of factories. I'm jealous. More than a little jealous. Yeah, we're not going to enact this policy, I think. We need the draftees. Bit problem that there are some rebels going on, though. We're still encouraging clerks. I might have to stop that. Eventually, might have stopped that. Maybe not just yet. I mean, uh, sort by number. Yeah, the numbers are fine for now. I think I don't recall. That's the that's one you want, like two thousand eight eight thousand. I think that's the ratio. That's optimal. Oh, it's a level 3, that's why it's... okay, that's fine. Um, Sweden wants an alliance. Okay. Yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> I mean, if they want friendship, I'm okay with this. And uh, you chose a trade policy, I assume, yeah. The Pakang Succession. You're basically inheriting all of India, right? Wait, reserves? No. Yeah, not sure what you're doing, Britain. You're doing fun, funny things. Uh, France is pushing into Algeria. Uh, British Charlie. Where the bugger all is that? Much easier just to go this and see where the things are at. Right, of course, you got the claims on uh, that area. Right, and you're at war with Algeria. And you already crushed the poles. Cottage industry. Um, yes, loose militancy. Sorry, infamy. Four points now. Yeah, all the wars are going to be over before I even notice them. Uh, Os. Yeah, pause for a second. Oh boy. That one's interesting. Okay, so let's see. You're attacking. That's fine. You are attacking someone for their core. In the Dutch are still down in Indonesia. But the one that interests me Austria Hungary has formed. The Austro Hungarian War of Schleswigian Freedom. And they form North German Federation. 
<laughs> okay, so you're fighting to free Schleswig Holstein. Are you serious? Are you serious? Austro-Hungarian war. For, okay, that's what you're doing. And Württemberg and Sibiringen are on their side. Who's on your side? Austria-Hungary, uh, Modena, Parma, Tuscany. Okay, just you four. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'm kind of amused by this one, but okay. Um, and they supposedly have more military strength. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that, because when the North German Federation forms, they're of course going to disband all the forces of the other guys. So that makes sense. Uh, and it doesn't look like Baden was allied at the time. Allied to Württemberg and protected they are in the sphere, but they're not allied to the North German Federation. And that means that there are no co now cores in Germany over here, right? Yes. Suddenly there are three cores in, of the German Empire over here. Which means that if, you, if they want to form Germany, they have to beat uh, France and take those three. And they also have to spear, sphere these three. And they already have sphered two of them. Uh, they have not sphered Württemberg, uh, not yet actually. I'm not sure Baden, but they have sphered Bavaria, so these two have to be sphered. Okay. Interesting. Even more interesting is that they managed to siege up there while they're losing Bohemia. Uh, uh, the Ottomans secured whatever was there. The Resolute returned. Right, found that adrift and they, they did all that fun stuff, right. The Resolute Desk and all that, all that fun things. Lovely. Separatism. And... Okay. Right, we were supposed to check for tax. Um... We have lots of tech. We have so many techs that would be good for us. In terms of economy. And I'm doing everything just to push towards that uh, discovery thing. Uh, yeah, that's never gonna happen. Nor is this. But it's gonna be very likely for us to, for, for us to get it as soon as we hit 1860. That's a good thing. We're, it's super likely that we're gonna get it. But we still need either the uh, Scramble for Africa tech, which is the Dark Continent. And if that follows the same suit, that's not gonna fire until 1890. It really isn't. It can't fire until 1890. So that means the actual colonization race for Africa can't start until 1890 at the earliest. Right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, but uh, we want to prepare for it anyway, we need, so we need a huge naval capacity and all that fun stuff. Yep. Yeah. Ready group doctrine, it's expensive. But we're gonna grab that one, and then we'll have to go and grab these culture texts out to biologism. Uh, we've discredited, yeah, that's fine. South Peru. South Peru Thor. The Andean Federation. Oh my. 
Not sure what the heck is going on in South America, to be honest. I must admit I don't know so much about the history here, and I'm kind of used to seeing Argentina and Bolivia and Peru here, but... Mm, I'm sure there's more history here than I'm aware of. So be it. Yeah, um, yeah we're not going to do that reform unless there's a movement for it, which there isn't. There's just a bit of militancy, that's all. Not much, actually. Not sure why this lights up, then. Could be because we have enough liberals that they want to pass things. That's probably it. Okay, I'm going to take a break here, and we'll still wait for the Civil War. It darn well should happen soon. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.